Hi, welcome to automation testing that in in this video we are going to discuss about basic HTML knowledge for Selenium web driver and basic HTML knowledge for Selenium web driver will discuss about how much a Selenium resource should have the knowledge about the HTML which is used to develop the application means when you automate an application as we know that Selenium automates only web uh, browser applications so if you are using any Selenium uh, tool to automate any web application each and every web application will have some of the elements the elements are called which we see on the web page so how those are uh, displaying on the web page for that we need to write some html code in the back end so why that html is needed for a selenium web driver uh, resource the reason is selenium web driver identifies the elements which are there on the application using html tags of that application means uh, what the code we have written to uh, display that kind of applica uh, elements on the web page by using that tags only we will identify the elements in selenium web driver so as a selenium resource we should know the basic html knowledge to identify the elements uniquely so uh, as we discussed like html uses the tags to display the elements on the web page each element will contain a starting tag and corresponding ending tag okay every tag displays the element on the web page in different way depends on its characteristics and each element will contain attributes and attribute is a modifier of an html element type an attribute either modifies the default functionality of an element type or provides functionality to certain element types are unable to function correctly without them means uh, element may contain some of the attributes and attributes will give an extra information about the element we will see all those things and in html syntax an attribute is added to an html starting tag means attribute we have to uh, give to a starting tag now we will see a sample html code and we'll discuss all these things which we read now you see this is a sample html code simple code and the output of this code will looks like this one means some text and it is containing this is red means it is displaying in red color this is thick the same thing black with some bold this is green this is green and thick okay how we are getting this kind of information on web page okay some text is uh, no displaying in the red color some text is in displaying in some bold some uh, some text is in green and this text is in green and bold and this is some size and this is in some other size and this size is also different from this size no how uh, this style is no applying to this elements or text for that we need to write some code in html in the back end you see this is the code to display this kind of information if you come here we are using some tag called html uh, what we say you see that here you have some html head title body p something like that these are all called tags okay these are all called tags in html now how a tag will be if you use less than and greater than symbol and you write something and you write something in this is called a tag in html okay you see here less than symbol here greater than symbol you will write a tag in this less than or greater than symbol and each and every html tag will contain ending tag this is called starting tag okay this is called starting tag for this you will have a corresponding ending tag you see here this is called ending tag means tag will looks like this and ending tags will looks like this one slash will be there you see less than html greater than less than slash html greater than means this is starting tag this is ending tag for each and every starting tag there is a corresponding ending tag 
and uh, if you go to this one like in the above program all the values are text which we put in this symbols means greater than and less than symbols are called starting tags and these are called means less than slash greater than symbol are called ending tags in the above code uh, the tags which we see in is html head title style and p and you have many more tags and you'll use all those tags depends on the application how you want to display and uh, html is the st starting tag in any document and this is called as a root tag html is mandatory tag and it is the root tag and a p tag we have seen right p tag is a contains an attribute called class if you go here you see p tag is having a attribute called class what you read in the starting tag here we are starting p tag and we are writing something extra in this tag and we are closing that tag means this is called attribute to this tag you might have so many attributes here single tag here we have only single attribute called class you might have different attributes to a single tag now p tags con uh, tag contains a attribute called class this attribute will give extra information about the tag and it will apply some styling to the element which will render on the web page okay while identifying the element in selenium these attributes also very help you to identify the elements uniquely means to display this kind of information on the web page we have written some this kind of code here class equal to red here the class equal to thick here the class equal to thick and green means we have some styling here using some style tag you see style tag in the style tag you have written something called red and the color is red something called thick and font size is 20 pixel and something called green and the green color and these are all called classes if you start something in the uh, style tag as a uh, dot that is called class and you are something saying that if you use this class the style should be red means the color should be red if you use this thick class the font size will be 20 pixel if you use a uh, class called green and the style should be green and we are initializing all these things in the style tag and we are using here means if you use class red the font this is red should be displayed as, as red in the same way if you use thick and green you see thick and green you can apply multiple classes to this class attribute so the uh, text will be uh, displayed as thick and green okay these are all called attributes using attributes also we can identify an element uniquely means attributes are also very useful to identify an element points to remember each tag will have a start and end tag each tag may contain a parent or not means uh, tags will contain a parents and childs there is a chance of having parent tag or not each tag may contain child or not each tag may contain a child grandchild or not each tag may contain a grandparent or not means we have some relationships between these tags so these relations will also helpful to identify the elements if you go here in this we have seen html html is a root tag so it doesn't have any parent tag okay it doesn't have any parent tag, but the reason is it is the root tag but you have html tag under uh, head tag under html this is called child tag to html tag and the same way you have body tag this is also child to html tag the same way html i mean sorry head and body are child tags to html okay these are child to html but these are on the same 
uh, what you say position means if you have html you have same thing like this these are direct chains these are direct chains to the html so these two are called siblings okay these are on the same position uh, so we will call siblings and the same way <coughs> head tag contain style tag okay so style is child of head so style is grand child of html means you have html in that html you have head in that head you have style means this head is child of this one then the style is grand child of this one the same way html is parent of head tag then parent is grand parent of style tag okay so this way you can make a relationship if you come to the body tag body is having one child called p so p is grand child of html and p is having some attributes called class this is you no know, basic html that we'll write and this is the relationship between these tags means uh, p is is the last element so it doesn't have any child so it doesn't have any child so there is a chance of having a child or not the same way html is a root tag so it it is having parent and grandparent uh, sorry child and grandchild but it doesn't have even parent the reason is it is a starting tag okay and uh, in the above code as we discussed html is the root tag head is the child tag of html body is also child tag of html and body and head, head are siblings p is child tag of tag uh, body tag and body is the parent tag of p html is grand parent of p tag and p is the grand child of html tag as we seen in the above code and class is an attribute to the p tag okay and below are the sample elements which we see in the web page uh generally what kind of elements we'll see we'll see text box text area button radio button check box here you see uh html is the root tag and you have head and the head you have style okay and in the head you have link tag means this is root tag this is child and these are grandchild to the html and child to the head and the same way you will have so many other tags and the relationship is child and parent by using uh, in the link you will have one attribute called relation and another attribute called href and in the script you have uh, attribute called src and the type means each element may have different kind of attributes and using this attribute also we will identify the elements okay if you go down you will see so many tags here you have div div is also one kind of tag nav is one kind of tag li is one tag ul is one tag and this anchor is one a is one uh, one kind of tag and its anchor is having some href attribute this way uh, the html will be and by using this html you can identify the elements okay uh, the conclusion is to identify the element in selenium web driver we need to depend on the tags and corresponding application need to identify element uniquely to interact with the element means i want to interact with this text box of first name means you have to identify that element uniquely to interact with that that is also basic in the selenium web driver uh, for this we, we will depend on the attributes of the tags also whether the element is single or one of the groups also we need to identify that uniquely means sometimes you have multiple elements see uh, if you go to the gender you have two radio buttons if you go to the hobbies you have uh, three check boxes means sometimes this will comes under group 
if you have another group also you have to identify the element uniquely so this is the conclusion and this is the basic information about the html means we we will have uh, we should have this kind of knowledge to uh, write the selenium code as we need to identify the elements on the web page uh, that's all in this video thank you for watching this video uh, please like us at our facebook page and don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel